Hey everyone, as the year comes to a close, it's the perfect time to reflect on our personal journeys and make plans for the future. In this video, I will show you a fun and creative way to do just that using AI-generated artwork. I will walk you through my process for creating a 2022 comic strip and share some of the tools and techniques I used, including daily journaling, the Obsidian Excaladraw plugin, and the Excaladraw scripts. I will also introduce you to Lunapic and Midjourney, two tools I used to touch up and generate the artwork. Here's my story of 2022 in a nutshell. It was one hell of a year. I think these statistics speak for themselves. Excolidraw, Excolibrain, and YouTube, to name a few. On top of these, I also published five book on a page reviews since July 2022. I'm honored and humbled by the many people who have decided to support my work. Thank you. Also this year, I started the Visual Thinking Workshop, successfully delivering Cohort 1 in November and December. But it was not just work all year. We visited Greece on a family vacation for the first time in our life. We went on our regular skiing holiday to Austria and even visited Rome in June for a few days. Reflecting on the year, I have learned a lot through creating videos, writing software, and organizing my notes. I also have met with lots of interesting people I otherwise would have never met. Finally, as I was reading through my diary, I realized how important daily journaling is. I will start 2023 motivated to up my daily journaling practice. Keep in mind that Midjourney offers a free trial, but if you want to create a page similar to mine, you may need to invest in a one-month subscription for $10. In this video, I'll also share some tips for saving GPU time and getting the most out of your trial. So join me as I reflect on my personal journey and explore new technology in this fun and creative way. To begin the process, I created a new Excolidraw drawing to serve as a canvas for collecting my ideas. Alternatively, you could use the Obsidian canvas for this purpose, but in this case, I preferred Excolidraw because it provides more flexibility for organizing my thoughts. Next, I opened my daily notes page for January 1, 2022, and followed the tomorrow links for each day, glancing through my diary for any interesting ideas or events that I wanted to include in my comic strip. As I reviewed my journal, I made a note on my Excolidraw mind map for any noteworthy ideas or events. In some cases, I strayed off track a little and revisited some of my linked pages or added additional details as I read through my daily notes. Once I had finished reviewing my journal, I gathered some statistics such as the number of videos I posted on YouTube and the number of Excolidraw releases I published. By the end of this process, I had collected a comprehensive list of thoughts and ideas. I then organized my thoughts into groups and highlighted the key ideas I wanted to include in my comic strip. To continue, I created a second Excolidraw drawing for my comic strip on a new workspace tab. The first step in creating my comic strip was to plan the layout. To do this, I drew a grid of 200 by 200 on my Excolidraw canvas to help me position items. If you don't want to draw your own grid, you can also use the set grid Excolidraw script to create a larger grid of 200 by 200 and use that to position the story tiles. I then locked the grid so it wouldn't get in the way as I worked on my drawing. 
I decided that I wanted to draw a portrait oriented comic strip and I opted for a 7x10 sheet using the large 200x200 200 200 grid. Keep in mind that Midjourney's version 4 model can only generate images with aspect ratios of 1 1, a square, 2 to 3, a portrait, 3 to 2, a landscape. I wanted a page on which I can organize a healthy mix of square, portrait and landscape tiles. To create the draft layout, I identified the topics for each tile on my comic strip by reviewing my mind map and switching back and forth between it and the layout plan. For each topic, I created a tile represented by a rectangle with the topic written in large letters in the center. The rectangles were either 2x2, two 2x3 two, two or 3x2 depending on the type of image I had in mind for each. Finally, I added draft mid-journey prompts and any additional text that I had thought of as callouts around my layout plan. These would serve as the starting point for my callouts on each tile. AI-generated art is a process in which a machine generates an image based on a text or image prompt provided by the user. One challenge when using AI-generated images in a comic strip is that while the AI can generate stunning pictures, it can be difficult to instruct the machine to create a series of images that have a consistent look and feel. To overcome this issue, I experimented with using image prompts in Midjourney to create a cartoon character resembling myself and to achieve some level of consistency in how the generated characters looked on consecutive images. I wasn't very successful. After some trial and error and research, I settled on a five-part prompt structure that worked reasonably well for me. This prompt structure includes some sections that I reused verbatim in all my image prompts to drive some level of consistency in the generated images. Here's an example of how a prompt looks. Setting is a big wooden roller coaster with a large empty billboard on the side. Joe is a steampunk quadragenarian tourist man with a long head, short hair, large pronounced nose. Setting contains a satisfied happy Joe riding on the roller coaster. Sunny atmosphere, pencil drawing, cartoon, comic book, Walt Disney fairy tale style. No long beard, fear, teenager. This prompt is broken down into the following five sections, separated by double columns. The first section defines the setting for the image. The second section describes the key characteristics of the main character in the scene. I reused the almost exact same description for all my images to achieve some level of consistency. The third section describes the action in the scene and specifies the feeling to be conveyed by the main character. The fourth section defines the atmosphere and the style of the image. The fifth section includes mid-journey parameters. The hyphen hyphen AR parameter defines the aspect ratio of the image. The hyphen hyphen no parameter is used to explicitly state elements and features that should not be included in the resulting image. The hyphen hyphen Q0.5 parameter instructs Midjourney to generate the images at half the quality, which still results in good images, but saves on GPU time. In my experience, an image is created for roughly 30 to 50 seconds of GPU time with this setting. Finally, the hyphen hyphen V4 parameter specifies that you want to use the version 4 stable diffusion model. You may also use the hyphen hyphen Niji parameter instead of hyphen hyphen V4. 
Niji is a recently released model specifically trained to generate high quality anime style art. I use commas to separate instructions in the list within each section to further help the AI understand the type of image I'm looking for. Finally, for images that I want to have a transparent background, I add pencil drawing on a white paper and empty background to the fourth section and also include background in the list after hyphen hyphen no. To create each of the tiles, I followed these 11 steps. First, I copied the draft image prompt for the next tile. Second, I typed forward slash imagine in the Discord chat to activate the Midjourney bot and selected forward slash imagine prompt from the list, then pasted my prompt. Third, I reviewed the prompt to ensure it was consistent, paying particular attention to the aspect ratio. I found that I often overlooked this setting and generated images with the wrong aspect ratio, which wasted unnecessary GPU time from my quota. Fourth, I generated the image, and if one of the four variants offered met my needs, I pressed U1, 2, 3, or 4 to upscale the image. If none of the variants fit my needs, I modified the prompt. Fifth, sometimes the upscaled image didn't look exactly as the original or had some minor errors. To fix this, I sometimes ran the upscale process again and found that the second try often fixed any small errors that were bothering me. Six, I clicked on the ready image in Discord, then clicked on the open origin link at the bottom left. Seventh, if I needed a transparent background, I saved the image to my downloads folder, uploaded it to Lunapic and edited it accordingly. Eighth, if I didn't need a transparent background, I simply copied the image to the clipboard by right-clicking on the picture and selecting copy from the menu, and then pasting it into my Excolidraw drawing using Ctrl V. Ninth, I sized the image using my layout plan and the grid to help with scaling. Tenth, once the size was satisfactory, I used the deconstruct image script to move the image and the draft callout text into a new Excolidraw drawing and to replace the moved elements in the comic strip with this newly created deconstructed drawing. Eleventh, in the new drawing, I formatted the callouts and added some metadata in the markdown view. I added a front matter parameter, Excolidraw padding zero, to ensure that there was no white padding around the resulting image when it was embedded into the comic strip. I also added two metadata elements, one, the mid-journey prompt I used, and two, the link to the source image from the web for later reference. This metadata can be useful for reviewing my process and for keeping track of the resources I used in the creation of this comic strip. Once I had completed all my tiles, I added divider lines between the images and made some minor final touches. Then I looked at the complete storyline and made any necessary tweaks to the callouts and the text. If you're interested in learning more about using Excolidraw in Obsidian and my visual thinking workflows for creating single page visual summaries, check out the visual thinking workshop. The link is in the video description. The second cohort will start in the first week of January, but I'm not sure when the next cohort will start after that. If you're interested, hurry. This might be your last chance to participate in the workshop for a while. The process of creating this comic strip was time-consuming, but I believe the end result is worth it. 
While working on the images and layout, I had the opportunity to reflect on my experiences in 2022. Before I close this video, I wanted to share three small tips and tricks that may be helpful when creating your own comic strip. When you use the deconstruct image script, the embedded Excolor Draw image that replaces the elements you moved to the deconstructed page will be force sized at 100%. This means that even if you resize the image on the canvas, the next time you open the image, the comic strip in this case, the image will revert back to 100% of its size. To avoid this, you can open the embedded image and resize the elements within it, or you can switch to Markdown view and remove the pipe 100% from the respective image link. This will allow you to freely resize the image as desired. I use the pen to create the speech clouds in my comic strip, but if you don't have access to a pen, you can try drawing the speech clouds with a mouse or use Excolor Draw on a tablet or phone with your finger. You can also resize the callouts once complete and use the set stroke width of selected elements script if the line becomes too thick or thin. You may have noticed that some of my callouts have semi-transparent colors. To achieve this effect, you can use the opacity slider in the element properties panel, which will make both the stroke and fill colors semi-transparent. Alternatively, you can add two digits to the end of the six character color string to specify the desired level of transparency. For example, adding 80 to the end of AF9178 will make it 50% transparent, while adding 00 will make it fully transparent, or adding FF will make it completely opaque. You can also use the Modify Background Opacity Excolidraw script for this purpose. Completing this year's review helped me identify topics that I took note of in 2022, but didn't make progress on. I added these to my to-do list for 2023. Skimming through my daily notes also reminded me of the value of daily journaling and motivated me to restart my journaling and daily quote mind mapping practice, which I had neglected in the later part of the year. If you're interested in the topic of daily quote mind mapping, I have a video on this in the show notes. Finally, I was amazed by the capabilities of AI art. While it does occasionally make errors like adding extra fingers or eyes, its ability to generate images that match the text description is already beyond what I had thought possible. I am excited to see how this technology will evolve in 2023. I expect that my comic strip in 2023 will have more consistent coloring and character use, and I hope that the issue with extra fingers or missing body parts will no longer be a problem. Maybe in 2024, an AI-generated avatar will act out my year as a pantomime. Only time will tell.